In the tundra live snow hares, caribou, arctic foxes, seals, polar bears, and other animals. It is very cold as cold as if you were a million miles away from the equator. There is a lot of snow in the tundra and there are no trees. There are plants in the tundra such as cushion plants, bear berries, and other plants too. Tundras are even close to the equator. People usually only visit the tundra and don't live there. There was a girl named Chloe who wasn't ordinary. She was special as if she was the queen of the world. She had blonde, beautiful, light hair that glanced in the light and shined in the sun. Her eyes left the world and fall like a waterfall. Sometimes she was fashionable like she was about to go to the ball every day. She was tall like Abraham Lincoln and that amazed people. Her dress was as white as an igloo and her hair was so blonde it was good in the light. Everyone got distracted by Chloe's hair because it was as long as Rapunzel's. Chloe always had a smile on her face and she was so incredibly talented that she could balance ten plates on her arm. Today in the tundra, Chloe walked and thought to herself, why can't I be a normal girl? Because she always got lost in her thoughts, she never really paid attention to where she was going. Chloe wasn't focused at all as she bumped into a caribou. Chloe fell back into the cold ice and heard a crack from underneath her. All of a sudden, Chloe fell into the freezing cold water. Chloe began to drown in the freezing cold water. Suddenly, a caribou walked up to the water with its gigantic horns. The horns were so massive, they were as large as a caribou's body. She couldn't grasp the horns because her arms were almost frozen. Chloe thought she had hypothermia. The caribou clattered closer to the water and almost fell in. All of a sudden, the ice broke. She slowly swam up to the caribou and grabbed the whole of its antlers. The caribou saved the day! Chloe and the caribou became friends and always loved to ice skate together. The caribou never went back because it bumped into Chloe there and that was why Chloe drowned in the first place. Chloe learned to be more careful and to be cautious about her environment. Later that day, Chloe and the caribou went to watch the sunset together. Even though Chloe was friends with the caribou, she knew that the caribou would make a great friend. It doesn't matter what kind of friend you have, it depends on if they're a real friend.